What is up guys? Welcome to a professional analysis of a random player. Yes guys, we will be doing just this one. And here you can see on the screen a practice sheet that I've made myself for this analysis. Okay, let's uh, go to uh, Medieval Siege Lobby and find the player. This guy is AFK, unfortunately. Let's find another 16 plus player. Okay, this guy. Okay, okay, let's find out. Let's see what this guy has done. Is, uh, okay, let's, let's check this game. Let's check this game, guys. Okay, okay, guys, let's take a look at this game. <laughs> So we've got Pen playing as Byzantines and we've got Kuwait playing as Portuguese, okay? So uh, what we will be doing guys here is uh, trying to uh, watch and analyze this game while taking down notes, taking down any error, mistake or bad habit, uh, as well as notes of course. So how are we gonna watch this recorded game, huh? How are we gonna do that? It's easy to tools, isn't it? <laughs> I did make this tool. I did. And I'm proud that I did it. Okay, so one click, two click, and watch the recorded game. As easy as that. Could it be any easier? Okay, so we've got the Jeep in view playing as the red in the bottom of this map. And <clears throat> of course, we're gonna speed up all the way to two minutes all the way to two minutes because what I want to see or what Greg Stein wants to see is the resources we have forward goals we have back berries and we have another uh, lumber camp here forward position lumber camp okay that's uh, that would be mistake num number one, guys. Mistake number one, we got the forward lumber camp. I mean, he already can see that there is wood here, so why not just keep the wheels uh, shopping these trees until he scouts here and sends the wheels. So I think it's a critical error, to be honest, uh, a mistake, actually. So taking forward, would is bad i bad idea <clears throat> always god take back wood first i mean first you would want to take the back wood and then the secondary lumber camp would be forward if you want not a problem but the first one is at risk of a drush, at risk of towers, anything. So we've got our guy building in one house here. Let's check the enemy. The enemy is building two house, and this is what I'm talking about. It's this. This is a good habit, and this is a bad habit. I'm gonna pause the game and explain why that's a bad habit for red player. I, imagine. Uh, at 16 and 17 pop and this happens a lot to me I come across the enemy scout and we fight he either he chases me or I chase him or I'm loading a boar and I and I forget that I'm about to get uh, housed so eventually I get housed <laughs> so that is why and that's the point behind building two houses here because if he builds two house he will have 25 pop and he wouldn't get uh, pop blocked at 20 pop okay okay so we've got to classify that as bad habit <clears throat> building just one house please build two houses just like your guy <laughs> just like no 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 i'm just i'm not gonna say that build two houses I mean, these are the. This, this is the way to uh, fix mistakes, or take a bad habit and replace it with a good habit. That's how we do it. It's my invention, by by the way, guys. This bad habit and the 
errors and mistakes so <laughs> okay did we lure the second boar yet did he find him or are you little bacon boy oh didn't see it okay late boar actually not that late <clears throat> not that late Okay, we forgot to check something uh, really important. So if we've got three on wood, so this means that he's going scout rush, right? Otherwise it wouldn't make sense to go drush or anything. Or man at arms, I don't know. Let's see. I'm pretty sure it's a scout rush. So at the last second he built the house there. Okay. Okay, okay. 22 pop, loom. This is obviously a scout rush. Let's uh, take it down. Scout rush. I'm pretty sure this is scout rush. It's too obvious. So, we're taking the back wood. This is what he should have been doing earlier. Like taking this wood. Uh, because let me take uh, a few seconds to talk about something. Like, do, do you have the grid? Do you have the grid installed guys if you uh, take this wood for example and have a villager here you wouldn't walk any tile like it would be zero tile walk from uh, the tree to the lumber camp and the wood outcome would be so much like the villager would just stand and drop the wood so that is why we should take back wood or a wood location in shape of you like here or here to have less uh, walking distances, okay? Anyways, anyways, these are little details to, you know, perfect your economy. I'm gonna unpause. And yeah, get the grid, guys. If you don't have a grid, get, just get it. Okay, so uh, the blue player is doing what? Archers, okay. 22 pop archers. As Portuguese, they do have cheaper archers and cheaper whatever gold units okay the gpn barracks is a little bit late i'm not sure if he knows <clears throat> about at 16 percent send one uh okay late racks at 60 percent feudal one fill Build racks at 70% feudal to build, build racks. I'm pretty sure he knows this, but I'm just gonna take it down here just in case. If he didn't know, know it, it should be classified as error. Okay, so things that players don't know should be classified as error. All right, let's see. It's looking good so far, I mean, I'm not gonna judge the forward wood or anything. But we have uh, another little error, like a little mistake. Is that he's missing what? Can you tell, tell me, guy, what he's missing? Two farms. Oh yeah, he's missing two farms in his build order. I mean, he might have taken the, the zebras, but he wasn't taking the berries. Still, he needed at least one farm, two farms. So I think he needed two farms, give, given the wood he has. In the scout rush build order, you need the, the two farms. You need them. Uh, two farms missing. <laughs> we need two farms when we scout rush. Unless, unless you have lured deers. If you lure deer, if you lure two deers or three, you don't need any farms. If you lure just one deer, you need one farm, okay? So he basically didn't lure anything, he just used the villagers that are supposed to take berries to take this one, so it doesn't count. It really does, doesn't count. Anyways, anyways, let's see uh, what is he going to do. A house, I like that. And okay, dear God, like building a stable. Look, look how many mistakes he did. 
building a stable with one villager, right? And building a stable in front of his gold. Unbelievable. Like this, this kind of mistakes could uh, be really critical later on. Like where you had your stable, you could have a TC late later. Like uh, how are you gonna put the TC here next to this TC? You want to protect a little bit forward here. But anyways, anyways, the most critical mistake here is building a stable with one villager. Like obviously, building stable with one veil was build with two veils please I'm not sure I have good keyboard here guys <laughs> okay obvious and now he got delayed the stable is not even built by the way, let me check something. Did, did he see what the enemy was going for? I think he saw. I think he saw the archery range. So, what are we supposed to uh, what are we supposed to expect from G Pen to do in the next minute? Tell me, guys, what are we supposed to expect from G Pen to do in the next minute or minute and a half? He is supposed to build an archery range. Let's see if that's gonna happen. Let's see. Okay, so as a reaction to uh, seeing the archery range, he puts a uh, tower. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna judge, but I wouldn't put a tower. And even if I put the tower, I would put it here. Where this villager is building the palisade. Because it's more forward to this area and protects the hell as, as well, so... I'm just saying, I might even put it here, <laughs> like going all in. <clears throat> anyways, anyways, uh, what matters now? We have a set of goals, guys. We've got a set of goals when you do scout rush, and we need to be aware of them. And one of the the critical ones is uh, having at least thirteen or twelve, like. If you did bad, you need to have 12 farms at 14 min minutes. Like, it's really important. But quickly, you need to catch up with 14. 14, 15 farms. Like, but essentially, 14 farms are really important to have as Scout Rush. Okay? So, at 14 minutes, we're gonna check what our uh, G-Pin is gonna do about the farms. Is he gonna farm more or not? Let's see. All the way to 14 minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna pause again the game here. Guys, what did we say about what are we supposed to expect from the red player? An archery range. He didn't build one. So, at this point, he is putting himself in such a really, really difficult situation or circumstance. So, are walls enough to take archers? I don't know, it could be tricky. I mean, look at the size of this wall. He's, he's gonna have to double layer here and double layer there and there to just defend the gun archers. So it's a huge investment. Anyways, so at 14 minutes, how many farmers we got? Nine. Mm, not good enough, not, not good enough. You will have to try to farm a little bit harder like you have 200 wood I wouldn't leave that wood just uh, sit there I would build archery range or farms but I'd rather do farms and how many scouts we're supposed to have like five scouts now I actually actually seven scouts or six let's see how many he has two. Oh man Okay, so we don't even have the scout count here. Maybe he was, I don't know, distracted, I don't know. Anyways, we don't have the scout, so at least... And we don't have anything. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's see what he's gonna do. Let's see what's gonna happen and what he's gonna do. 
16 minutes the archers will come in of course the plus one I mean you need to watch for the the upgrades he sees the archers I like the reaction I, li I like it I mean I'm gonna pause the 16 plus players they tend to react that's what makes uh, a difference between them and the 15 plus like the 15 plus almost never ever react to, to things like he just plays but the 16 he reacts but he doesn't react enough like like a, a difference between a 16 and a 17 and an 18 is that a 17 will be always uh, a step ahead like like i would notice this you'd notice this i know that it's safe here and i know that it's not safe here so i will have to put a house here quickly so i'm not sure if he's gonna do this or not and of course this one is is done and yeah and i would have our skirms like 11 skirms by now or or 10 and he has how many none amazing amazing play bro amazing uh, the tower is not gonna do much to be honest it's just slightly protection let's check the the blue view here does he see the wood he doesn't see the wood, so blue didn't do a good job scouting his enemy. Okay, so we've got the archers coming in here. Is he gonna attack this palisade? I know it. I know it, like, guys, I've just said this. <laughs> I have just said this, and he did just that. And look at what he's doing. Look at what he's doing. Palisade gate. Really? Do you think a palisade gate was to stand a chance? I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Let's see. So, is he make, making skirms? Uh, this archer is a waste. I would rather do. Okay, he did flitch in. Yeah, this archer is a waste. It takes too long. It will take the queue time. But, anyways. Okay, it looks like he'd be fine here, maybe. <clears throat> oh! This one isn't built yet. Oh god. Oh, bro, you're so fucked now. Like, you need to put a, a gate here, stone gate here. Or some, something like all the way here to, to the TC. And keep your skirms. Get the armor. You should get the armor. You don't have a chance. <clears throat> be because I know for, for a fact that if blue gets here or here, it'll be over. I'm, I'm not sure if he's gonna do that. Oh, he's getting... Wait, does he see? He doesn't see shit, but he knows that there are stuff there. So he is coming in. Okay. All right. So this could be really bad. Uh, <clears throat> Blue, what are you doing? Uh, what? Okay. This is a blunder by Blue here. Like, why would you have that much of archers? And attack villagers while you could sit here and do so much damage delay as much as possible the the the, the, the farmers and the woodcutters and everything the lumberjacks oh man i mean uh, blue has wasted the huge opportunity there okay <clears throat> so these farmers are idle that's good for blue, at least for now. And we don't have enough veils on gold because I assume, uh, is he going archers? Okay, he's going skirms. You should be going knights, right? You should be going knights, otherwise I'd be disappointed. Okay, knights. Okay, that's the problem, guys. So he has four villagers on stone and only now he's sending three. I mean, it's not gonna be enough for the plus two upgrade. The plus two upgrade will take 150 gold. Uh, third stable. Let's pause the game again. We can't have a third stable, brother. We can't have that. And here is why. Because three stables with no gold 
that support them. One stable is for miners plus if you decide if you go for the upgrades which, which is always the case you usually need two three miners for upgrades I mean this is this is important if you decide to go for one stable you need to go for seven veils or six veils on, on mining gold if you decide to go for uh, two stables it's eight veils plus three veils or two so we've, we've got uh, the production support as well as upgrade support and I have forgotten something does he have wood barrel oh he doesn't have wood barrel that's that, that really really big ah uh, man that's really big okay let's fin finish this build stable with Two plus fills, wheelbarrow missing. You cannot emit the wheelbarrow. It's really important. Research wheelbarrow. Thank God I paid attention to that. Sixteen minutes. The wheelbarrow. Do you know what the wheelbarrow does? Let's check what the wheelbarrow does. Let's check what the wheelbarrow does. You, you're too lazy to go and check it yourself. Let me show you. Uh, villagers move 10% fast, right? And they carry 25 more percent of resources. It means 13 resources instead of 10. So imagine the villagers moving faster. Imagine that. If they move faster around the farms, they, they move faster around the gold, how much income you would have? Like, like you will research it at 16 minutes, and then just two minutes later you will have so much food. Why? Why is is that? It's because you have faster villagers. Really important, really important thing. Never emit the wheelbarrow, ever, during scout rush. Okay, third stable. I am disappointed. Uh, and one uh, more thing here to notice we see that uh, red is a bit in a pickle because he knows that he, uh, he he doesn't enough army to deal with the blue pressure so if I were in in red shoes I would take two villagers from the farmers for example and send them here to build the siege workshop and pressure him force his army to defend I don't want him to come to my base because I still need to get my eco back on track and collect some more gold put TC's if necessary but we see uh, a market is a fine reaction I'm not gonna say no but the stable that was a waste he's researching plus two so we are expecting a full production of knights. Is he gonna do that? No. <clears throat> okay, so the red player got to Castle Age first. And he knew that the blue player didn't get to Castle Age. Yet, he insisted on doing a market in a stable where he could have built a siege already here. Like, as a don't have the balls. Have the balls to go forward, man. Don't be afraid. Fuck it. If you lose, fuck it. I mean, that's how we learn. Okay, so let's unpause the game again and see what Red is gonna do. Like, we have production from one stable already, which is terrible. I'm pretty sure it will have to do with the hotkeys. I'm pretty sure. Like, go, go to stable. I, I have it on R, guys. See, I'll just click one button to browse between the stables. Easy peasy. Siege workshop. It's good, but it's not for forward. Like, you're just gonna defend. Okay, the Byzantines are a defensive save, but 
you had an edge and you wasted it. And I don't think there is a way you will come back from that. Like if you went forward, build a siege, monastery, and mix knights with camels, and skirms, mangonels, and boom behind it. If you wanna boom. Okay? Uh, uh, what? Is TC here? Really? Like this is, this is so, 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 so terrible. Please guys, tell me what this TC would do. Like, is it gonna protect the lumber camp or the house? I mean, what is it gonna do this TC? I don't see a point behind building the TC in that terrible lo location, like seriously. <coughs> I mean, if you think that a TC, TC low, TC built in a terrible location. TCs must always protect resources. And be near them. Like the TC is not even near the wood here, guys. Not even near the stone. So probably a TC would be here nice, but I wouldn't go for that one because I would rather go for here, the backstone. Or a TC uh, in here. I mean, I, I, would, I wouldn't build a stable here. I would keep this space for a TC. Because here the TC would be a little bit awkward. This one would be weird. I don't know. Anyways, these are little things that we need to fix, Mr. G Pen. Okay. So he already has the edge with the upgrades. Though he's missing bloodlines, both of them. But still, he has the edge. And as Byzantines, we do have cheap camels. Like, he could spam cheap camels all day with mangonels and stuff. But anyways, a mistake, another mistake here, which is going to ruin all his game. No, 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 just go away, like, there is no chance to just delete it from the start and go away. Uh, unless you have skirms with no upgrades. <laughs> unless you have skirms with no upgrades, okay. Guys, let's, uh, let's talk about something really important. When you've got skirms with no armor, it's just basically you don't, you don't have army. You literally don't have skirms. Like, you're just basically wasted the elite skirmishers or nothing. Or nothing, really. E even if you had plus two, the skirms with, with no armor is just not good at all. Let, let's see him lose all this army. I'm pretty sure he's gonna lose everything. Check, check it out, guys. Check it out. Check it out. There it is. I'm not too surprised, like why would I be surprised? This is too... too obvious. Too obvious to uh, someone like me. <laughs> I'm just kidding, okay. He should be selling... I don't know, I mean he did so many mistakes that... So many mistakes. Mistakes after another, mistake after another. Let's take a look at how many mistakes. Taken forward, dude. And now look at that. He's taking so much damage there. Late racks. And look here, he had late racks and a stable with one veil. So no army production. Two missing farms, he, he was struggling with food. <coughs> yeah, okay. Wheelbarrow miss missing, no good economy. TC built in bad location. Three stables with no good support. I'm just gonna pause the game here and shut the shit down because. <laughs> We're gonna shut this shit down, guys, because we, we've made so many mistakes that we need to pay attention here. I mean, there's no point to go forward because the amount of mistake we have made does not allow us to keep analyzing the game, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna make a copy of this as a PDF and enclose it in the description of this video and as well as other links if you want, guys. The links of EOE tutorials and everything. Anyways. Anyways, I think I'm gonna just take it from here and hopefully we can get some more games soon. Okay? Thank you for watching guys and see you in the next episode.
where it might be you, the 16 plus.